This is another Flower Boy exclusive. All right, guys, it's gonna be another Flower Boy exclusive. So I got a couple of uh, questions um, that were asking me on the comments uh, on Facebook about how um, I blend when I, when I was prepared to do the wing. So I said that when I get ready to do the wing, that I would answer those questions. So the question was that how do you blend um, the top and the bottom when you're sheeting um, your wing or fuselage or whatever when you have a top and a bottom and you, you can't cover it all at once. So the answer to that is th uh, this. First of all, when you're doing the wing, you need to do the bottom first. Um, you think of it, let's say, like if it was uh, the real uh, uh, flight metal. Well, they're not going to have it where wing can catch um, the ends and then rip off the metal. So you think of it like that. So this is exactly what I did. I started first with, with one um, one sheet of fiberglass and as you can see it went from wingtip to wingtip. I got this fiberglass from um, Zeroli.com. Uh, it comes in I think uh, 7 to 8 feet um, which is pretty wide and it's like uh, 2 yards. So. It's a lot of uh, fiberglass for the money. I think it was around 35 bucks, 30 bucks. Well, anyway, so as you can see, what I, I've already laid down the first coat of fiberglass and I really thinned it out. So um, I may not uh, add another coat. Uh, I'm trying to keep this as light as possible, but I want to show y'all what I basically did. It's already drying, but so this is what I did with, with one hand. As you can see, I got all the way down to the tip, and then I grab the end like so, and then I scoop under, and I brush, and I brush, and I brush, and what that does is that gives you that bottom lip. It goes around the curve, okay? And so, being that you do that, when you do the top, you, and which I'm going to show later on once it secures, I sand this, because this is, this is sand almost flush. Then when you do the top, it just basically it blends in. You you want to sand this this top part so that it 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 almost flush to the wood, and then you do the bottom. And then what you do is then you overlap it under, and so it's gonna come to about right here. Then you blend that in, and you, when you when you come with your sandpaper, and then that's basically how you you do it. But like I said before, I, when I get to that point right now, I've already just I just fiberglass, so when I get to that point um, and it cures, then I will actually, you know, put the camera on on, on a tripod and you'll physically see me uh, sanding this this off. And then when I fiberglass the top part and it cures, I'll sand and blend this area off so that you can see. But um, as you can see right now, this is the wing. It's, excuse the snoring. My, my dog is a I call. I gave them a good long walk, and so they're pretty much uh tired now <laughs> but anyway um i fiberglass in the wing the fuselage for the most part is done um she's a beaut i done the canopy this needs a little, little clean up canopy's done fuselage is painted i wet sand her so she's nice and smooth uh, rudder has been painted I still need to do the elevator. But uh, there she is. Uh, my top flight giant scale Corsair. F4U. for you. I'm going to uh, have the marine scheme. Uh, I think that's the Cornico uh, scheme. Uh, I got the uh, graphics from Kelly Graphics, of course. Um, she's a bit. All right, Mr. Fly Ride is right back at it again. Going to finish up the top portion of the wing. Last uh, little segment, I showed you what I was uh, about to do with the, with the bottom portion. So like I said before, so now I have got the fiberglass. I have laid it across the wing. I've cut out, you know, the excess so it overlaps. I want to say, what's that, about another two, three inches? So it overlaps on both sides. So like I was saying before, this is the top half. Bottom half has already been fiberglass. So when I start to lay down the epoxy, I'm going to make it overlap under like so. 
So remember, uh, yeah, one of the questions was, how do you overlap? So this is basically it. You put it on top, I'm going to epoxy it, and I'm going to come under. And then once I sand it, we had around uh, 120 to 800 grit um, sandpaper. It'll, it'll just feather it out. So that's the same with the wing tip. So I'm going to go under and lay under the like so and feather that out. And so then when I sand that all in, it pretty much it locks the, the fiberglass in. And being that it's under the bottom, you don't see it. So even after you, you paint and prime uh, your plane, you, you won't see it. If you mess up, you still won't really see it. Let's just have the plane flips upside down. And if you're in the air doing it, inverted, it's going, what, 80, 90 miles an hour? Ain't nobody going to see a thin line of fiberglass. I can guarantee that. The only time that you will have to really make sure you sand properly is if you are, you know, trying to go for the detailed work of um, Top Gun, you know, where you're going straight uh, detail and you're trying to make sure that it's as as close to the to the replica of the plane and I can still tell you like this warbirds they were ugly they were trying to get them out so that, that way they can get them to the pilot so that the pilots can, can get rid of the enemy they were not pristine they were ugly rivets were misplaced there were rivets on it and then they made sure that it was structurally sound so that it can kill but it wasn't pretty. It's not. It's not. It's not a sports car where it was a show plane. They are beautiful birds. And they're in the air. They're beautiful. But you gotta remember that if you're trying to go for detail, they were not like show quality. Like you see the Red Bull racing uh, Corsair, where it's all nice and shiny and glistening. That ain't the way the the Corsairs look. The Corsairs were probably flat painted so that that way the the uh, uh, enemy couldn't shoot them down in the air. Why would you want something shiny? Uh, uh, that you can spot when you, you know, thousands of feet in the air. No, you want something that's dull and blends in with the sky. So that way you can kill the enemy for the enemy to kill you. Anyway, I want to thank Kelly Graphics. I appreciate uh, you getting my order in so quickly. Nice and quick. So thanks, Kelly Graphics. See if I can get that to focus. Boom. There, there they are. Calligraphics.com. Go check them out, guys. They got my, um, my stuff ready. So... Uh, thanks Kelly for, for getting my stuff together. I got my, my uh, scheme going. Uh, I'll show you what the scheme looks like at the end of this video where I plan on making it look like. Right. But um, if y'all haven't seen the other videos, you know, check them out. You see the detailed work of me building this Corsair. This is a top like F4U Corsair. Whistling Delph, 86 inch wingspan. Love Corsair. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Well, anyway, I'm going to get to it and I will show you after I'm done what it looks like. Remember, it's not that hard to do, guys. Just take your time. Take your time. Take your time. And you can get it done. All right. See y'all here on the flight line. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so I wanted to show you. Uh, now that I've laid down the epoxy, I want to show you the bottom. Hopefully, you can see with the camera. As you can see, I went under the bottom, a little ways, and that's the bottom of the wing. So when I when that cures, I can sand that down, and that is going to be a wrap. It'd be nice and blended in. So as you can see the wing is all nice and done. Everything is covered under the bottom. You know, so I can sand that down and uh I'll be ready to paint and prime. So yeah boy. <laughs> Get the same for the back. Get to the very edge of the back. <coughs> Now, I do want to say that y'all make sure that when y'all doing this, y'all in a well really there, I got the garage door fully open and I got a fan circulating in the air. Now that the fiberglass has cured or had time to, to cure, you can see what I said about overlapping the fiberglass. So, this is the bottom part of the uh, wing. And 
it's already been done first, right? So then the top part and we overlap. As you can see, I overlap. So now, when I come to the sandpaper, by saying it, kind of hard to do right here, but I just kind of want to give you an idea. And then this is 80 going to 120, and then that right there will fade away completely and blend in. And that's how you do it. You overlap, and then like I said before. We'll turn that down some more. Uh, 120, we get it all everything off. Then we'll turn down 120. Then what I also can do is I don't want to put one coat of epoxy on here. I can't add another coat, and that will also help blend that in. Uh, but I'm going to only put one coat because I'm trying to go for white. So um, I said I will feather this out. I will sand it, get it nice and smooth like it. You can't tell me by looking at it, it, it looks like you can still see the, the gap, but my touch, that, that's almost completely feathered in. Anyway, that was just a few strikes of the other the sandpaper. So, yep, that's that's how you do it, guys. That's how you uh, overlap the end. So now that's pretty much locked in. Once I paint it, you'll never know that that where where the top begins and the bottom starts and she goes so wing is fiberglass just need to sand it and um, stop priming paint and sanding priming paint sand paint wet sand put scheme on put this electronics in so on and so on and so on <laughs> so so much more work need to be done. All right, guys. Well, I know I said that I was gonna let that be the final, but this is the final. So I have um, put the prime on, as you can see, got it good and smooth. Both sides. That red stuff. That's just the, the, the dust from the putty. But I'm gonna do a final wet sand. And then I will spray the white. Then it will be the assembly time to ailerons, elevators, rudder. Still need to cut the bottom and make the landing gear in. So I'm going to do that first before I spray it white. But I just kind of want to get to this final, final showing of what it looks like. And like I said before, if you look at the bottom, if I can do it, it's still a little wet. Uh, so as you see on the bottom, as I sand it, um, you do not see that seam anymore with the prime. So if you were to wet sand this down one more time and then paint, that will be fully fiberglass with no seam. So that's what I was saying. You do the bottom first. Then you do the top and the overlay. And then once you sand that, that down, that is completely blended in and as smooth as a baby bottle. All right. So, that is it. Remember, take your time. If you mess up, there's not a problem. You always lay another piece of fiberglass down. Add or add another another little thin layer of epoxy and start all over again. It's real easy. All you gotta do is take your time. Take your time, baby steps. You can't really mess it up because it's all a learning experience. In life, that's what we do. We learn from our mistakes and then we make it better the next time. I made plenty and from the mistakes that I made, I learned. So when I was doing the P51 Mustang, which is covered up over there, I learned from those mistakes. I made this wing a lot lighter. It's a lot stronger inside because it's a kit, but it's a lot lighter from the epoxy. The last ones I could tell you now that wing had to be at least 55 pounds by itself. <laughs> it was a heavy thing. I don't know how many bottles of, of, of epoxy I went through. I used one box of epoxy 
for both the wing and the fuselage on this Corsair one box I think I at least used three four boxes at least it was that was a heavy bird she looked pretty but she's heavy because she's got a lot of epoxy and, and fiberglass on her well anyway I say that to say this that guys don't be intimidated by uh doing this it, it's not that hard if you just take your time and as always we the fly right boys we fly right and we go home and i will see y'all on the flight line all right peace and be with it all of y'all hope that you're having a great day